Hello students, welcome to the unit on computer networks. In this part, I am going to discuss some of the most important full forms of networking. These full forms are very important from an examination point of view. And I have collected the full forms from like different sections of this particular unit and I have curated everything into a single part so that it is helpful for all of you. And I'm hopeful that whatever full forms you are going to get in your final examination, it will be from this part only. So without any further ado, let's begin our discussion. So the first full form that we are going to discuss is LAN. LAN stands for Local Area Network. Also, I would like to say that here we are not going to the detailed discussion about what these full forms are. Here we are going to just know its expanded form. So the second full form is MAN. MAN stands for Metropolitan Area Networking. Network, sorry. Next, we have WAN, which stands for Wide Area Network. Next is PAN, which stands for Personal Area Network. Next is CDMA, which stands for Code Division Multiple Access. Next is DNS, which stands for Domain Name System. Moving ahead, we have TCP which stands for Transmission Control Protocol. Next is TCP slash IP, which stands for Transmission Control Protocol slash Internet Protocol. Next we have NFC, which stands for Near Field Communication. Next is XML, which stands for Extensible Markup Language. Next we have LTE, which stands for Long Term Evolution. Moving ahead, we have DHCP, which stands for Dynamic Host Control Protocol. Next, we have AP, which stands for Access Point. Next, we have FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. Moving ahead, we have SMTP, which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Next, we have POP, which stands for Post Office Protocol. Next, we have MAC, which stands for Media Access Control. Moving ahead, we have OSI, which stands for Open Systems Interconnection. Next is SSL, which stands for Secure Sockets Layer. Next, we have URL, which stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Next, we have IoT, which stands for Internet of Things. Next, we have NIC, which stands for Network Interface Card. Next, we have IMAP, which stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. Next, we have HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Next is CSMA slash CA, which stands for Carrier Sense Multiple Access slash Collision Avoidance. Next, we have CSMA slash CD, which stands for Carrier Sense Multiple Access slash Collision Detection. Next, we have WWW, which stands for World Wide Web. Next, we have HTTP, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Next, we have HTTPS, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. We should always look for HTTPS protocol while doing financial transaction. HTTP protocol is fine while reading something or reading some blogs and all those stuffs. Next, we have NFS, which stands for Network File Server. Next, we have NIU, which stands for Network Interface Unit. Next, we have Terminal Access TAP, which stands for Terminal Access Point. Next, we have FM, which stands for Frequency Modulation. Next, we have AM, which stands for Amplitude Modulation. Next is VOIP, which stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. If we do calling with the help of internet, it is like referred to as VOIP. This is just for information. So that's all with the full forms and I hope that you will get uh, the full forms that are going to come in your examination definitely like three or four full forms definitely comes every year and I'm hopeful that it will be from this list only and just for information if you want 
my notes on networking along with practice papers and various other quizzes and all uh, there is a course on networking i'll give the link in the description you can always purchase it as you can see everything is organized here along with the video and the pdf notes along with that i have given some important practice questions also which will be helpful for your examinations i hope that this session was useful thank you very much i'll see you again